Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I'm gonna show you my five favorite ball pythons here. We've been all over the place, but we're back. And I wanna show you these snakes. Are we gonna save the best for last? I don't know yet. I can tell you that I'm gonna show you my first favorite. And by first favorite, of course, I mean the queen, our female clown pied ball python, who was one of the first snakes that we got when we moved back from the old island. I gotta tell you, the sun's not up yet, and I'm here now, because this is the usual for me, to be awake at this hour. However, I realized I don't have to yell at my family to stay quiet upstairs, because everybody's sleeping, and this is also one of those rare moments when my neighbor's not home, so I don't have to worry about waking her up either with my own noise. It's like, perfect, I should, I should, I wish this little moment happened more often, but anyway, gotta take what you're given. And I was not given this snake, but she is just phenomenal. She's produced a couple clutches for us at this point in her life. And the queen, the clown pied ball python, the, the, in a sense, the ball python that started it all for me with breeding ball pythons because clown pied is my absolute number one favorite project in ball pythons. And the only way to take it from there is to add more things to clown pied, genetically speaking. I had so many good things to say. So I was lay I'm laying in bed at like, you know, it's like 4.30 in the morning. I'm laying in bed. I was like, oh, I got all these great ideas I'm going to talk about. And then the I come down and get everything set up. And by the time that happens and I kill the cricket that's been running around here making all kinds of background noise, I've got nothing good to say anymore. We're just going to look at snakes. Is that cool? Next snake we got here is my homie, Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink is an Enchi Lesser 66% Poss Head Sunset, right? And I just like him because, well, he, this is the very first ball python we ever produced and hatched out. And he is feeling very spunky this morning. Where are you going, Mr. Pink? I'm trying to show you off on the video and it's not working when you're running all over the place like this. <sighs> all right, just run away then, run away. I'll show your sister. That's his sister. Same mom and dad, different season. Also Enchi Lesser, but she's got that little paradox spot right there, which is just phenomenal. Isn't that beautiful? I just love Enchi Lesser as a combo. I think that they look amazing. I think that they're wonderful. I think that they're beautiful. And this one, that cricket, I thought I got it. Thank you. And she lets her 50% pass that sunset. That's what I meant to say. She's a girl. Maybe she'll prove out sunset and we'll get some and she lets her sunsets. Wouldn't that be cool? Speaking of sunsets. And she cinnamon sunset. Now, Brandy, I want to point out that last Enchi Lesser. That's not part of the top five favorites. I just wanted to pull her out because her older brother was running all over the place like a maniac and wasn't going to stay still. So she she filled in for him. Look at this gorgeousness. That is the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset. This guy's name is Stud Muffin because not only has he been eating like a champion, but he's going to be a stud in the near future. And we're gonna hopefully make some, we're gonna make, okay, I'm just gonna say it. We're gonna make triple head sunset clown pies with this guy. And it's gonna be a wonderful day. Especially knowing that it's gonna be a long road to actually make a triple visual sunset clown pied. And that's fine. The slow road is nice. You just take it easy, mellow, no rush. You get there when you get there and everything's gonna be so nice. So sweet. And can you say orange? I mean, can we can we talk about how orange this guy is for a second? He's orange. It's maybe the most orange snake I've actually ever seen uh, that's not a corn snake. Ah, 
And speaking of orange, Miguel Garcia at Always Evolving Pythons. His favorite color is orange. He gave me this snake out of the kindness of his heart. This is a Mojave Cypress. And her name is Garkia, and she's beautiful. And she's one of my favorites because she came from my buddy, Miguel. Miguel, I miss you. Call me. She's a beast though, seriously. In all seriousness, I'm gonna, I, think I've been, I feel like I've been joking this entire video with a couple of facts thrown in about my need for silence when I'm filming. In all seriousness, this girl's grown like a champion, champion eater. I, I can't wait to produce some babies with her because that will be Another beautiful ball python. I can you believe it? This is yellow belly clown, possible het pied, and this was actually a Christmas present from Mr. Jesse Johnson at Freedom Breeder, and her name is Freedom, and isn't she beautiful? She's a favorite because of that whole, you know, it's like those, those special things, you know, you got friends that that love you and, and want you to be happy with animals they produced, and that's what makes her my favorite. Are you gonna run all over the place? I know your name's Freedom. It doesn't mean that you're not captive. Okay. Run free, run free. Live up to your name. Have some little chiropractic adjustments in your back. And here for no apparent reason other than she just shed out, here's our female indigo snake. Now she's not a ball python, but she's still cool and worthy of being shown on video. She's also going to go to an educational program, our first educational program that we've done since COVID, like in the next video. Speaking of the next video, I was kind of joking a little bit. These were my five favorite ball pythons. Do we do five? Out of just one rack over here. I've got others hiding around that I would be happy to share with you guys if you would like. Your vote is your comment down below. Would you like to see part two? Would you like to move on to something else? Leave a comment down below. I will listen to what you say in the comments down below. Whoever wins, that's what I'll do next. Not one of those times where I just ask, what do you want me to do, and then do whatever I want anyway. I will actually listen to your vote in the comments down below. Speaking of you being here still watching this video, if you're one of those people, oh man, I got a surprise for you. This is possibly the worst time to show off this snake because he's deep, deep, deep in shed. Unfortunate, because my whole point of showing this guy off right now was to let you wonderful, beautiful folks that are watching this video right now know that I'm going to offer him for 50% off right now of what he is listed for on Morph Market. Only to those of you that happen to be watching this video. I'm not gonna advertise it anywhere else. So if you wanna jump on that chance on this snake that will not be in shed forever, it will eventually shed out and show his true colors. There are current pictures of him up on Morph Market. Again, 50% off, and not only 50% off this guy right here, of the 50% that you give me for him, I will take 10% of that and give it to US Ark. That sounds like fun to me. Call me crazy. Call me up too early for my own good, making poor decisions. Call me whatever you want. I really don't care. But call me if you want this snake. Did I say what he was? He's a super coral glow, 100% het pied, which means you can make all coral glow and maybe even pieds too, if you got a het pied female for him to go to. <laughs> against anybody's good advice, I just stuck my hand in there together and she checked my hand like, is that boot? Is that boot? Is that boot? She's smart enough to know it wasn't. I just wanted to end with our beautiful girl Sangria here because uh, her babies are doing great, the ones that survived. And she's kind of like a big giant ball python. <laughs> oh, you didn't like that, huh? I'm sorry. I will never say that again. Thank you guys for watching the video. I uh, appreciate every single one of you. Reach out to me, let me know what you want, let me know what you need, I'm here to help in any way I can. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video, which will be the first educational program that we're doing in like a year and a half. Should be good. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Did I say that already? Aloha. Listen, 
Do you want to know a secret? Do you promise not to tell? Oh, 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 oh. closer. Let me whisper in your ear.